What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So to round off where we left off, we have got a significant amount of freedom in Western India. And while we do have significant forces still pushing into the east, where the bulk of the remaining forces are, I want to exploit this as quickly as possible. So we are going to assault the city of Ahmadnagar. So even though they do have mortars, they have no defences, and the army's pretty depleted, so I think this is going to be quite a good attack. So let's move on. So the problem is, you should know by now, the Indians, they like to put up momentum. They can steamroll you if you give them too much time to arm up and prepare. So if they give you opportunities to attack, and you can take them, your forces and you think, eh, I don't think I can hold on to it. Maybe it's a bad idea. But if they give you the opportunity to attack and you think, actually, I've got a pretty good shot at making this work, then I think it's probably a good idea. So with this army, I've got an army that's going to advance ahead of ahead of Amadnagar. And I've also got forces to the east, so I can afford to take a bit of a gamble to capture this fortress. However, I do have some depleted troops but I'm going to need to move in quite aggressively because of their mortar well actually do I regular well no I do mortars are still really dangerous okay this may or may not be the right position for the foot artillery Yeah, for them, for my, for my regular foot artillery might not be so bad. Oh, my mountain troops. So we're engaging their mortars, but I doubt we're going to get... Well, I got three kills. It's not terrible. So I want to edge my formation up to get my howitzers in position. So there comes another volley coming in. Nope, still. Nope, still not, not a set of good hits. Deploy stakes? No, you can't deploy stakes. Let's have a good look at you, actually. Oh yes, you're green, I remember now. Hmm, they are moving up. So I might actually drop my heavy cavalry. Instead of going over there, come over here. One more kill. Native lancers and camel gunners. Another volley. God, they're getting lots of volleys. Huh? Hey, they took out a mortar. Okay, let's run my cavalry. You form square. Let's preemptively deploy them here. So they bring out the mobile elements to try and fuss me. Tempting to push this wing up. If I push this wing up, I'll have to advance all the way up to the artillery. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, because they seem to be 
not abandoning it, but they just seem to be happy to leave them be. To be honest, I'll start to move my cavalry around that flank actually. Target how it's into the Gurkhas, how it's into the Musketeers. To be honest, I could still do with moving of moving one of the wings up. Okay, let's change artillery targets. Elephants. God, the general sniped him. Wait a minute. No, we didn't kill the actual general in the bodyguard unit. He must have been in this camel gunner unit. Well, either way, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's run my horse guards. We can run our infantry up. Because they haven't got ready any cavalry to restock me, it's just the elephants at the back. Tricky spikes. No one wanted to be in position ready to shoot the living crap out of this garrison. Let's target the guns a bit better. Conventional musket fire. Oh, the mort after all that, the mortars are bugged out. Classic. In which case, this is going to become a lot simpler. So, run up here around the spikes. Then down into the mortars. So let's push up our line. Guys are going to be of limited use. Yep, that's the guns dealt with as well. They might as well go after the general's bodyguard. 
as my artillery continues to pound their line. Okay, because they're rebalancing, let's push right up. I don't know how good cavalry versus elephants is, as a decision. Um, well, they've not got many elephants. There! Ah. They stole the march. Buy a little bit more space. Before the merge. General's bodyguard gone. Got all of them have time to get volleys away. Some of them will. Yeah, it's just a lot of. Because it's levy, bowmen, levy, dervishes. Commit the cavalry. So I'm to go after the Gurkhas. Let's get my general involved rapidly. Again, the garrisons fell apart almost instantly. Seek warriors. We well, don't kill the Seek warriors, kill the Gurkhas. I mean, good, I was about to say, they must be routed by now. So you go after the Kizilbashi Musketeers. Should you go for the Dervishes first? Stuff. So kill these Gurkhas, then go after the Sikh warriors. Come on, there's only four of them. Now I'll go after the Musketeers. Yeah, picking apart the Seek Warriors are good. And they're doing a good job at it. They've all routed. These guys are going to route, so let's send them to also help out against the Seek Warriors. Although they're probably not going to make it. Because <laughs> they are just getting eviscerated all the way to the border. Aha! Get him! I'm actually going to make it because of this. Because of this absolute trooper. Damn right, it was a good victory, though. So we've secured another for loss of 111 men. The territory is ours. Let's fix this. Let's get church going. We start really trying to pump out the Christian influences here. Don't worry, we'll come back and deal with Mysore in due course. Right now, the focus is killing the Marathas. So you're up to threaten Bengal. Okay, let's move this army up first. 
because they're in better than Nick. You guys hunker down and replenish what you can. Same with you. So this army is ready to move up towards Ahmedabad. Let's take the heavy cavalry and free Bombay. Not even interested. Yeah, fifth rate. Go on then. Let's get the heavy cavalry back. So now our fleet here can combine with Hirst and Zerna. Actually, he might stay in Bombay just as a garrison. Although, should really start building some sloops. Go ahead and put him on there. Awesome. So, how's Europe going? Still fairly normal. I mean, the, the Ottomans are doing quite well. Russians have taken out. I think Austria is dead. Yep, yeah, there goes Austria. But we're doing pretty good. We're going to be doing even better every turn we advance into India. We're going to be just reaping in so much cash. Oh, yes, I remember. Satara is actually unhappy. So let's take this infantry and send you back. So we temporarily split the garrison here just to maintain happiness across board, across the board. We need to get rid of that religious unrest. But let's end turn. Because things are going rather well. We've got the, Marath the Mughals on the back foot. We're going after Bombay. Bengal, sorry. We're going after... Oh, I can't even remember the territory on, the, on towards the west. That's a serious... What we've got to do in Europe is to not get involved in major wars. Easy, right? Okay, that's not... that's annoying. All that I mean is one of the forces near... Hyderabad is going to pull south to make sure they don't cause any mischief. Or at least not too much. There is unused land suitable for farm. Yep, building farms. Definitely immediately upgrade the church schools. Let's keep the replenishment going. The infrastructure looking pretty good across the board. Okay, you that's not I mean, that's a good enough army to fight them, considering the lots of levy and nonsense. Let's give them a, these two troops. Then we can send them around here, ready to fight. Nizam Singh. Let's make sure the armies that are replenishing are in good nick. So if I hit him, will it draw in the garrison? More than likely. Let's combine forces at the bridge again. I mean, that's not even a that's not a fight. I'm going to hold here though, just in case these guys come back, because it might then spur off an actual interesting battle. New town in Galway. Here, a craft workshop. Is glo global trading companies are how you lose all your cash. I mean, you earn it back, don't get me wrong, but holy moly, are they expensive? 10 grand a pop. But it is London. Okay, we'll build one. I'm not going to upgrade this in case of raids. At the same time, I'll knock down this just to save some money. Yeah. They're going to move up to the port here. I don't think they've got the move to actually get to Katak. These guys are just going to replenish. They're not, I'm not going to lay siege to Calcutta yet. Let's get the tea going. Let's go with the commercial port. Okay. 
And let's recruit some. A couple of fifths, just to go send send to the trade theatre. Because we're doing quite well. Well, actually, that's true. We can recruit war galleons. So let's build two more war galleons ready to send east. Carlson, so you don't need to move. It's tempting to move Earnhard up to here as a reinforcing army. Move you up to here. Then hit Nizam. So he has his reinforcements and I have mine. And this will be... This could be... Then the Indian continent will be ours and we'll be able to reap the benefits. The huge benefits region, because India in this game is incredibly wealthy. Well, I mean, it's overall, it's what China's got there, who had their one child policy. Their population may actually begin to age before they get to experience the true benefits of a fully, you know, economy firing on all cylinders. Whereas India, because it's had a, it hasn't had as many of the problems and it hasn't had to implement a policy like that. Their policy, their um, population is not aging as fast, so they will be able to draw out their high growth years for longer. At least in theory, they've got they've got some problems to sort out. It's a bit pretty bureaucratic, and there's lots of problems with corruption and things like that. Um, but they're not necessarily unique to India. I like Brazil as, as, as a emerging economy, as bonkers as the dictator is at the minute. But again, another, it's another corrupt country. Anyway, engage. So I'm content just let my artillery pick their own targets. Especially when they're going to group all their troops, all lots of good stuff near their artillery. Anyway, here comes the reinforcing army from the east. So it's native lancers and camel nomads. Let's take advantage of the, the easing back of this flank to move up our left. I'm okay with letting them attack the guns because right now there's so many, so much stuff near it that even misses are good enough. Here's the Finnish Legion. My howitzers can. Firstly, you draw a square. Curassiers get the horsemen. Howitzers pick it there. Better units. Which you're probably better out of square formation if the elephants are coming. You guys fire into the Sikh warriors. Oh, come on, I need to get, get. Now they've fired some of their. They definitely want to kill my cavalry by the looks of it. Nope, they're coming in on the flank. Just very slowly. Let's kill. Let's secure the front line first and probably get my howitzers to focus on the general's body guard. Lots of fratricide. It needs must. Especially my cavalry. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's understandable actually that you guys are all very upset. It's the Finnish legions broke, but to be honest they were completely isolated on the flank. So bothered about the levy. Hmm. First army might be getting a bit of a leathering. This is why we have reinforcements. Reform the line if we can. Bring up Mon General. Hey, I forgot about quick lamp shot. Drop a quick lamp shot in there, please, howitzers. If they can survive long enough to get a quick lamp shot in there, it could certainly help. <laughs> the Indian's worst enemy. Quick line. Oh yeah, let's move my general to safety as well. These mortars are motoring as well. Cressio's back here. They're sticking around. So it's the general's bodyguard I want to get. That and tie as many of them up as possible out there on the, in the uh, in the distance. No, don't want to lose my. Who are you shooting at? Ready, howitzers, for another critical tasking. So it's over there with my heavy cavalry just routed. <laughs> yeah, you better run. go back into a square formation because they're coming for you. Your reinforcements aren't even going to save you now. Don't need another general. Back you go. Target the native lances out there in the distance. Yep, yeah, you've gone into the cavalry. Gone into the square, sorry. Auto battery go back towards the sea warriors. Oh, friendly fire, quick line. Not so friendly. Made it kill. That's a lot of my sepoys, sepoys. Go in there, heavy cow. Take him out. Oh, household cavalry with the clutch trying to kill the lancers. Wasn't it good I brought in those 
that aren't that reinforcing army. Smash straight into there. Get the artillery to fire on the cavalry in the distance. Let's get my household cavalry over there to support. Let's quick line as the new horsemen as they come in. And let's redeploy our line. Pull those sepoys, sepoys out. Sepoys, sepoys. Good stuff. Here comes the reinforcements. Okay, let's retarget the houses against the camel nomads. You guys are going to get shot to bits. You're down to 16 men. That last guy managed to finish them off. Good stuff. Good old quick lime. Now I've got it. I don't know how I how I ever managed to survive without it. So the reinforcements coming in from over here, nice big chain of troops, just out of artillery rounds to range. More heavy cavalry. And another unit, god I have lots of cavalry. These poor devils, they're going to have a hell of a time if they push forward, or when they push forward. Maybe they won't want to. Maybe they'll try and consolidate their line. Some more howitzers coming in. Speed up time a little bit. Ooh, that wasn't a Good. They shoot at the distance. May as well have this unit try to kill this unit of Sea Warriors. They're, my guys are tired. And they're in a, they're in a, we're off in the distance. Speed up time. Let's let my, my army regroup. Or my new line form up, I should say. I mean, I could slash should do something like this. Let's take my cavalry squadron further out on the flank and see if we can do any mischief. Oh, well, that's a lot of camels. Ah, they missed. Go after the dervishes and let's speed up time again. Come on, you damn fool. There's only ten of them. Oh, they're everywhere, that's why. They have formed a line. Let's go to, to play. Let's commit my cavalry reserve. Let's 
smash the bowmen, keep these guys coming around. So drive one out, one of them, they're shattered as well, actually, doesn't matter. Drive them both on. Let's drive these heavy cavalry through the gap. Throw them all through the gap. Yeah, we lost a unit of infantry, but to be honest, they were fairly out of it. Against the camels, the camels charged them in square and they had enough, but a rather square held firm. Limber and quick line. Run into the Dakili. My ninth horse guard should be able to beat the camels. Oh, one of them's still alive. You guys knock out their guns on, on the move. Good stuff. The gunners are down, or will be. I will just suddenly fall over and die. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of here so we can draw their camels back to safety or back somewhere where we can kill them. Speed up time. Oh, and they're gone. You go after them. You go after them. You go after them, and general go after them. Let's turn off all artillery. Triple speed. Good stuff. So even though we took a good chunk of damage ourselves, that army can still replenish into a decent fighting force and we've opened the way towards... I think it's Malwa? Or Berar, I suppose. Let's kill the ninth Dakili. Okay, let's send you to attack there. Get these guys with round shots. Everyone, you all attack ground right here. No, actually, you better do quick climb shot right here. And let's commit the general to go kill. Not that's going to make much difference. There's only two bowmen here. And they're dead. I think that's the artillery over there. Or at least that's where their flag is, but the actual troops are in the middle. Good and they're dead. Decisive victory. It was pretty decisive, but we did a pretty good job at cocking it up. So we did lose 1,300 men, but they lost 5,200. And the, the entire garrison's been pushed back. So you chaps replenish badly. Let's let let Earnhardt take the lead. 
Let's push this guy up onto the road. Send a unit of company infantry to replenish. Do you have any Indian mercenaries? Nope. Do you? Nope. Do you? Nope. Technically they could attack the fort and call then these armies as reinforcements, but don't really wanna. Good, you can be taxed. You are being taxed. Awesome. So we're about to get Wealth of Nations, which is really powerful. A dense rockets, don't care. Go for light infantry doctrine. Keep advancing down the tree to get these management and management for the army and administration training level for units is powerful. Let's get some rifled infantry in. Any percussion caps not so bothered about. We get a steam engine. That's a powerful industrial building. I think that's pretty good, to be honest, all in. We've sorted out Galway. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Ah, we're attacking. Maintain the siege of Calcutta. You demand these things of me, you will demand nothing. You will be a future war target. They want to buy a delusion of labour. Go on then, because it's you, Poland. Labour's quite an early tech, so it won't be long till everyone else figures it out anyway. As much of an advantage from it as you would think. So the Mughals are... No, don't, inter don't intercept. Let's take a turn to replenish. <gasps> don't. No, good. They didn't reach Katak. But they're about to be surrounded by a force to the south and a force to the north. So there's not a whole lot they can do about it. But I have to say, the assault into Indian territory has become a smashing success. I mean, the Greek navy, for some reason, is very powerful in the Baltic. Once we smashed the Mughals... I mean, we're at war with Persia, so it's not there as if the... In this region that is not That's yet true, developed. actually. We're at war with... Okay, don't build... Don't want to build this yet, because we've got other things we can build. So let's build a... a fishery, because it seems fluffy. We've already got a naval port. We've got a commercial port. I doubt it will produce so much it can't export some of it. Let's make it a global trading company just because. Let's see here. Let's just do a bit of investment on trade. These territories make three grand. You give me eleven hundred. Katak has roads. Let's give them good roads. Before we move this army in, let's move this guy up to here. So now they can't escape back up the valley from where they came. Not going to upgrade this, as tempting as it is. Going to upgrade this. Where are you going? Oh, there. Because if they were going to go to this chap we've already given him his troops I mean he could do with some marines to make them a bit more interesting but say la vie and let's do some merging actually just to make sure we don't so we don't lose oh actually it's to you and to you good yeah one turn they'll write a letter of complaints Good stuff. Let's recruit. Let's recruit a light dragoon unit just as a bit of a garrison. So those two marines were the only units we recruited. We can f we can't fix the large tea plantation. Got some elite marines that replenished. 
Ja. Put them to siege first. You attack this raiding little army. Trevor, you need to keep them together because they're actually the replenishment's not gone swimmingly. So let's start to combine some units. Some of them we can't help. Each experience is just going to go down. So let's send the next batch of company troops out. Still not completely strung out. I mean, you. I mean, yeah, just attack. Mohammed Hassan. It's got him. Frederick Carlson's got some more stuff. What did he get? Treat gain general of infantry. Minus one to morale. Oh, he's not loved. He's enjoyed a many great, great many victories when commanding an army almost exclusively of infantry forces. This trait cannot be lost. So people are on a, they don't like him. Um, but he's a top quality general. I mean, command on land. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's really good. Especially because no one else in my army is close, I think. So four. Yeah, you're not, you're not too far away. And you're only 26. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, you, yeah, you might be close. Then again, you're not a general. General of infantry. Um, sweet. But I think my plan is going to be to take this army to hit Nizam Singh. However, looking at the timer, that would put us... Well, we're already over the part limit. So, we'll kick this off in the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of this nuisance stack on the East Coast. Cheers, everyone.